welcome to my video series for preparation of JEE main advance and for different state level joint entrance examination. Today is part 9 of the chapter theory of quadratic equation and problem number is 43. This problem 43 of that chapter. So problem is the difference of the roots of x square minus px plus q is equal to 0 the same as that of x square minus qx plus p is equal to 0 p not is equal to q then which one is true number one p plus q is equal to 2 p minus q plus 2 is equal to 0 minus p plus q minus 2 is equal to 0 and p plus q plus 4 is equal to 0. Here, two quadratic equations are given. x square minus px plus q is equal to 0 and x square minus qx plus p is equal to 0. p naught is equal to q. And given that, difference of roots of this is equal to difference of roots of that, then uh, which option is correct? Suppose that alpha and beta are roots of that, gamma and delta are roots of this. Therefore, we must have mod of alpha minus beta is equal to mod of gamma minus delta. Achha, more of all, from the given equations, we have alpha plus beta is equal to P, alpha beta is equal to Q. Gamma plus delta from this equation is equal to Q and gamma delta is equal to P. So, these are actually given from the equations and difference of the roots is equal to difference of the roots of that. Now, squaring both sides, alpha minus beta whole square is equal to gamma minus delta whole square. It gives a gamma minus, I mean alpha minus beta is not known. Uh, but alpha plus beta is known. Therefore, it is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta is equal to gamma plus delta whole square minus 4 gamma delta. The putting values of this, this and so on, it is p square minus 4q is equal to q square minus 4p. So that p square minus q square is equal to 4 into q minus p that is p minus q into p plus q is equal to 4 into q minus p. Now, p as because p not is equal to q, so we can cancel p minus q from both sides. So, we have p plus q is equal to minus 4 because I cancel p minus q. Here is q minus p. 
So P plus Q plus 4 is equal to 0 is answer. So option B is correct. So this option is correct. Next. Problem number 44 now. If 1 minus p is a root of x square minus Just one minute. If 1 minus p is a root of x square minus, sorry, plus px plus 1 minus p is equal to 0, then its roots are option 0, 1, Second option, 0, minus 1, 1, minus 1, and minus 1, minus 1. So, 1, quadratic equation, x square plus px plus 1 minus p is given. And given that, 1 minus p is a root of that. Then, its roots are all in terms of options, all are in terms of numerical value 0, 1, minus 1, and so on, in terms of that. And because 1 minus p is a root of that, it must satisfy it. So 1 minus p whole square plus p into 1 minus p plus 1 minus p is equal to 0. So 1 minus p can be taken common. 1 minus p plus p plus 1 is equal to 0 cancels. So that together is 2. So 2 into 1 minus p is equal to 0. So only alternative is that p is equal to 1. P is equal to 1. Hence, the equation become x square plus, putting value of P is equal to 1, x square plus x, this becomes 0. That is x into x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, roots are 0 and minus 1. So, second option is our correct. Next. Problem number 45. That problem is one value of B. For which x square plus bx plus minus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus x plus b is equal to 0 have a common root options minus root 3i root 3 root over of 2i minus root over of 2i
Achha, now let us see what is the problem. Here, two quadratic equations are given. One is x square plus bx minus 1 is equal to 0. And other is this, x square plus x plus b is equal to 0. These two equations will have a common root then value of b is that. Option is this. Now, to obtain that, let us solve this equation by cross multiplication x square by b square plus 1 is equal to x by minus 1 minus b is equal to 1 upon 1 minus b so comparing these two we must get a value of x so x squared by x is equal to this by that so comparing from first two we have x is equal to b square plus 1 by b plus 1 with a negative sign and comparing these two we must have x is equal to minus of 1 plus b by 1 minus b as because it has a common root we must have this x must be equal to that x that is we have cancelling negative sign b square plus 1 by b plus 1 is equal to 1 plus b by 1 minus b by cross multiplication b square plus 1 into 1 minus b is equal to 1 plus b whole square this and that that is b square minus b cube plus 1 minus b 1 plus b square plus 2b 1 cancels b square cancels so we have b cube plus 3b b cube plus 3b is equal to 0. It is not matching with the options. Just, just now I see, I have copied correctly or not. x square plus bx minus 1 and x square plus x plus b by cross multiplication x square by b square plus 1. Okay is equal to x by minus 1 minus b also all right is equal to 1 upon 1 minus b x is equal to b square plus 1 by b plus 1 negative and x is equal to 1 plus b by 1 minus b with a negative sign so that is all right so negative after cancelling negative sign, this that is b square plus 1 into 1 minus b is equal to 1 plus b whole square. b square minus b cube oh, tickets. Then 1 minus b is equal to that. So b cube plus 3b so taking b common, we have b square plus 3 is equal to 0. So value of b is g either 0 or plus root 3i or minus root 3i. So we have to find one value of b for which 
they have a common root one value of b and in option the value is minus root 3i common from here so our correct option is a that is uh, b is equal to minus root 3i next problem number 40 6 the quadratic equation px p function of x is equal to 0 with real coefficient have purely imaginary roots then roots of the equation is equal to 0 will have option purely imaginary number 2 real number three two real roots and two imaginary neither real nor purely imaginary Now, let us see what is the problem. Px is equal to 0. It given that it have, it is a quadratic equation and it have two purely imaginary roots and its coefficients are real, has purely imaginary roots. Then, the root of that option is this. Now, as because px is equal to 0, it has uh, real coefficients and purely imaginary roots. So, purely imaginary roots are of the type ai, not ai plus b. If this is the case, then um, it is not purely imaginary. So, roots are of that type. So, we can take px is equal to x square plus a square is equal to 0. Its roots are, but first of all, coefficients are real and its roots are um, plus minus ai. So, this is px. So, P of Px is equal to x means Px whole square P of Px. Px is x square, a square plus a square is equal to 0. That is Px is our x square plus a square whole square plus a square is equal to 0. Px. Px is x square plus a square. That is x square plus a square is equal to plus minus ai. So, its roots x is equal to minus a square 
plus minus ai its x square is equal to that so from here it is clear that clear that its roots are not real number 1 not purely imaginary because this is there two it has two roots so two real two imaginary not possible and uh, it is neither real nor purely imaginary this is not real and not purely imaginary so this is correct option option d is correct next problem number 47 the problem is if alpha beta are roots of x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 alpha is greater than beta a n suffix n is equal to alpha to the power n minus beta to the power n then value of a10 minus 2 a8 by 2 a9 options are 1 2 3 and 4 so this is given quadratic equation roots are that and alpha is greater than beta and e in is defined as alpha to the power n minus beta to the power n that is a2 is equal to alpha to the power 2 minus beta to the power 2 and so on now from here a10 A ten is equal to alpha to the power ten minus beta to the power ten minus two. If alpha beta roots of that, so alpha plus beta is equal to six, and alpha beta is equal to minus two. Instead of minus two, I put alpha beta. So plus alpha beta into a eight. Alpha to the power eight minus beta to the power eight by two a nine a nine is a nine is alpha to the power nine minus beta to the power nine. I put minus two is equal to alpha beta with negative sign because actually as we call answer is. numerical term so this term must be cancelled when for that purpose i put minus 2 is equal to alpha plus beta now after simplification alpha to the power 10 minus beta to the power 10 plus alpha to the power 9 beta minus alpha beta to the power 9 by 2 into Alpha to the power nine minus beta to the power nine is equal to taking alpha to the power nine common from here. So alpha to the power nine uh, into alpha plus beta. Taking common beta to the power nine from there minus. beta to the power 9 into beta plus alpha by 2 into alpha to the power 9 minus beta to the power 9 so clearly it is alpha plus beta into alpha to the power 9 minus beta to the power 9 by 2 into alpha to the power 9 minus beta to the power 9 so actually what uh, is important that this factor cancels 
So living alpha plus beta, which means this is 6 by 2. 3 answer. So our answer is 3. With this, let us stop today. And I request you to please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.